Snapcast. Around 1800 years ago, China was divided into three regions that were in a struggle for supremacy. Liu Bei led Shu, Cao Cao led Wei, and Sun Quan led Wu. That is to say, it was the Three Kingdoms period. In this period where these three giants faced off, numerous heroic figures were forged, whose stories have been handed down to this day. In 234 CE in the Wuzhong Plains, the Shu camp was quietly reeling. Shu Emperor Liu Bei was already dead, and Sima Yi's Wei camp was staring them down. Amid this, Shu's Chancellor, Zhu Kongming, was being ravished by an illness. <coughs> a multitude of foes. I am not long for this world. I hope... Chancellor? That my Chancellor! next life doesn't revolve around war. I dearly wish to be reborn in a world filled with peace. deceased. Like 
think you need more booze. More torments before me. I shall take that challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. There was someone. Huh? Somebody who listened to your song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, see ya. Yeah, see you later. It's cold. morning. Wake up. No, Shima Yi, leave me alone. Uh, hey. What a truly and wonderful singing voice. Uh, all right, fine. I'll help. Have you seen, seen to be fine? Cause you can be whispered on a full night. Voice of the songstress of hell. Did you bring me to this place? Who are you calling songstress of hell? I saved your life. You would have frozen to death sleeping in the street like that. <laughs> the idea of freezing in hell. What are you talking about? Clearly this isn't hell. This isn't hell? Then where in the world am I? <laughs> what? This is... How I look back when I was young. What sorcery is before me? It's just a plain old mirror. A mirror? This object is as crystal clear as water? If by... No, it can't. Preposterous. Surely I died in the Wuzhong Plains. Even at Shimen Junji, I had nothing to say about reincarnation techniques. However, it is a fact that I have been restored to life. This heartbeat proves it true. If you've sobered up, I'd appreciate you heading home. <laughs> hey, you're not getting any funny ideas in your head, are you? Please excuse huh? me. I was just thinking about things. Would it not be good fun to use my intellect to unify the land for the sake of its people in today's world as well? Huh? My dear songstress... I forgot to introduce myself to you earlier. I am Sugar Leong, courtesy name Kong Ming. I'm Eiko Tsukimi, but call me Eiko. So the fiery songstress of this world goes by the name of Eiko. <sighs> More importantly, it seems you don't have a wallet or a smartphone. Are you gonna be alright? Can you get home? What is a smartphone? Huh? What were you drinking last night? It's this. What kind of magical wizardry book is this? Words appear only to disappear again. For there to be such detailed pictures on such a small object. Calm down, Grandpa! Drink some water and chill. This material is like that of a cicada. It's plastic! Eiko, what does the movement of the long and short pointers signify? It's a clock! Eiko, there is water boiling. We must put out the fire. Humidifier! Eiko! Air conditioner! Eiko! Actually, I don't know what that is. Goodness me, there are so many things in this new and complicated world of which I am woefully ignorant. What is it that you do know about? Will you be so kind as to at least teach me how to use this smartphone? Seriously? No way! Talent is not something one is born with. I believe that it is developed through learning. Should I gain any knowledgeable and insightful wisdom, it is my truest intention to use it for your benefit. <sighs> All right, fine. Until I leave for work, anyway. And what, pray tell, is this thing called the blockchain? Enough already! Question after question for four hours just to argue! Sugar Kong Ming, as I said, I even have a wiki page. How long are you gonna keep up that act? <sighs> What's your deal? Kong Ming is some Chinese historical figure, and you're speaking my language fluently! How is that? Good point. I found myself naturally doing it without even realizing that I was. I can also comprehend these characters as though I've known them since my past life. Like I have been prepared for this new path. According to this website, you've been dead a long time. Which is why it seems I have been sent to this era for some reason. Are you serious? Yellow Turban Rebellion, Battle of Guandu, Battle of Red Cliffs. So this is how they've been passed down. Yeah, whatever. Well, I've got work, so I'm gonna get ready. 216 CE, Cao Cao became king of Wei. 219 CE, Liu Bei became king of Hongzong. 
takes me back. 263 CE. It says in November. So, Shu ended up falling after all. After that, the Sima clan unified the country, but it did not last long before devolving into another turbulent period. Now, 1800 years later, there is no longer a single face I recognize. Huh? What's wrong, Kongming? Oh, it's nothing. Singing possesses the power to energize. Uh, you really think so? I'm still just an amateur, though. What do you mean by amateur? Uh, kinda like an apprentice? I see. Nevertheless, the other music I heard at the club last night sounded like dreadful noise to my ears. No way! The crowd was pumped! You're so lame! Grasping the current trends is key! Take a look! I'm hearing an inscrutable tutor underneath. Is that a flute? No, it's Edie! The singer is quite skilled anyway. Right? Eiko, I find I have taken a keen interest in the music of this era. However, I am still ignorant in the ways of this world. I would very much like to broaden my knowledge. There you go! I just know you'll get hooked on music! Such being the case, huh? in order for me to procure a war chest, I ask for your help in finding employment. You're unemployed? <laughs> your boy caught me! You? You're really trying to play yourself off as the actual Kong Ming? Go on, introduce yourself with your real name this time. Of course, my name is Zhuge Liang, courtesy name. No, not your alter ego! Please calm down! If you're really Kong Ming, then tell me, why did you send Masu to Jia Ting? <laughs> Masu? What's that? Muscle? As you know, Ma Su was a favored apprentice of Kong Ming's. Overriding opposing voices, Kong Ming left the defense of a strategic point in Ma Su's hands. But their forces were unable to stave off the enemy and they lost the battle. Wait, what does he mean you showed favoritism to your apprentice? Well, surely the real Kong Ming could answer me. At the time, Shu was short on talented men and we were in need of new regional officials. Certainly some voices were pushing for Wei Yen or Wu Yi, but we would have never developed successors that way. The job was to stop in advance, so Ma Su should easily be able to handle it. That was my assessment. But it didn't work out that way. You put too much faith in Ma Su! It seems that Ma Su had a plan involving assailing Chang'an. Thinking back on the event now, perhaps Ma Su allowed the enemy to pass in order to press me to storm Chang'an. So rather than a failure, he planned it? I wonder. Perhaps. 
Perhaps it is only what I wish to believe. What's with you two? What are you talking about? Why are you crying? Justice before kindness. Kong Ming tearfully executed the defeated Ma Su to preserve troop discipline. Talk about strict! He was a precious man of talent. Indeed, that he was. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's totally Kong Ming! And the clothing's spot on. However, I prefer plainer garb myself. Uh, sir? I've always wanted to talk about the records of the Three Kingdoms with someone. None of these kids these days know about that stuff. <laughs> That's right, he's hired. Can you start today? With honor. <laughs> I have Kong Ming serving under me at long last. Oh, right. Stay dressed like that. Nothing would suit me better. Echo, get him up to speed. Hey, sir. It's almost time for us to open. Hey, what happened to your eye patch? Well, yesterday was Halloween, so... You look like Xia Ho Duen. That's great. Three Kingdoms nerd. <laughs> First off, congratulations. Thank you so much. It is all due to your assistance. Yeah, that's it. Just squeeze the lime and it's all done. Mm. Uh, another failure message? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You think you can remember the cocktail recipes and prices? Yes, I'll manage. Well, let me know if you run into any questions. I appreciate that. There is something that oh. I would like to ask. The song playing right now is quite slower than the music played last night, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, after we open, we play stuff that's around 100 BPM for a while. What is this BPM? It's a song's tempo. The music last night was between 130 and 160. Fast tempo songs get people hyped up. I see. It's true that when Zhang Fei was throwing back liquor, the onlookers had dropped in. Are you talking about the Three Kingdoms? Mm -hmm. should be expressed while one is still alive to do so. That is my belief. So tell me, what drew you to music? When I was in high school, I went through a lot of things. I was in a bad place mentally. And when I came to Shibuya on a school trip... <sighs> Damn kid. We've got a special guest tonight, so at least wait before you decide to die. The performance that night... The singer's voice... Shook me. I later learned she was a performer who came all the way from America. I had realized 
This was no time to die. I wanted to move someone as greatly as she moved me. But... I'm thinking of giving up on being a singer. I love what I do, and I want to continue. But I keep failing all of my auditions. I feel... Like I don't have any talent. Honestly, I was thinking that it's a good time to quit. Eiko, please have confidence in yourself. You see, your music has offered salvation to someone that's standing right in front of you. Even so... You have the great power to convey your feelings to others. Perhaps they can't see it, but I am thoroughly convinced of it. Besides, if you were to quit, I am sure your fans would be sad. Like I have any fans. Do you not have one right here? <gasps> Thrice. I have heard you sing beautifully three times now, Eiko. My heart trembled and I thought, I want many more people to be touched by the lovely sounds of this music. Thrice I've been called. To ignore a person ripe with powerful ambition would make me as dishonorable as a scholar who devours texts in his cottage. Therefore, I shall be your very own personal tactician. Tell me, what is your dream? To debut as a professional singer, to gather an audience ten thousand strong. No matter what may come, no matter how difficult the road, I will move heaven and earth to assist you. So command me at your will. In some small way, I wish to tax my ingenuity. Command, you say? <laughs> you really are in character. But when you put it in those words, come on, you're not playing fair. Despite all the self-doubt, you're making me want to do my best. I would ask for nothing better. Hey! 